Hello, welcome back. So today we are going to take a tour of the school room. I just want to preface a few things. A, my, my school room never looks this clean, ever. So you get to see it. We just got done putting final touches on it. And so I thought, hey, this is a great time to film a video while it's clean. So you're gonna get to see a tour of it. It will never look like this again. I did not spend a whole bunch of money putting this together. A lot of the furniture in here was sourced from other rooms of the house, like my office. I have a craft room downstairs, so I got some of the storage containers from there. I also sourced some of the bookshelves and stuff from other bedrooms in the house. So don't feel like you need to go out and buy all these pieces. The only thing I intentionally bought for this room was the girls' school desk. And I got everything from Ikea. I did spend some money on their desk too, more than I normally would, but I'll explain why when we get there. Other than that, I think that's it. Let's get started. We're gonna start in Eric's section. This is my preschool wall. And you'll notice I have a bookshelf of toys in here. Uh, this, is, this particular bookshelf, Eric can come, he can do a puzzle, he can read a book. What Eric loves playing with the most is these magnetiles. He will build houses, he will build boats, he will build all sorts of things for these little bear counters. And I mean, when I tell you he will play with this for hours, he will play with it for hours, which is great because any less time he spends in front of a TV or on a tablet, I feel much better about. So this was a great investment. I will link both of these. Both of these I got on Amazon for very inexpensive and they are worth every penny and more. Then I have these go-go wheels and he can build little race tracks and it makes noises and it's just a lot of fun. Then we have these little mega blocks and he'll sit there and play. Basically anything building my child just loves. Who knows, he may grow up to be an architect or something. Then we have this microphones, really cute and a lot of fun. And we have a little puzzle shelf, missing some pieces of course. Real life moment. We have a reading shelf. This is great. This reads the stories to him. It goes with these books and he can press on it. And it tells you what button to press. And he can go through the story and read that. He's not, hasn't been too, too interested in this to be perfectly honest. My girls really love theirs. They had one with Disney princesses. And then of course, a little reading buddy. Then we have some Melissa and Doug toys here. A little airplane. A little airplane where the people and the luggage comes out. This was a gift for his birthday or something. And we are very grateful for that. So that's just a little peek into his shelf. The bookshelf I sourced from another room in the house. This adorable desk was actually given to us by our neighbor. She was just getting rid of it and gave it to us for free. So that was really cool and Eric just loves it. He loves that there's a little cubby hole on the side that he can stick his toys and papers in. These posters I found on Amazon. Amazon has a ton of options, but I will link these below. I thought this was a great mix of early learning concepts like shapes, seasons, months, weeks. So we can go through those counting to 100 ABCs that we can just play around pointing to and singing songs and all that good stuff. Then we come over here and I have some busy boxes. These contain small parts and paints and finger paints and that sort of stuff. So 
they're a little bit more concealed and the drawers are actually kind of hard for him to open. I got this cart at Michael's and I believe it was $30 and I had it in my craft room. So I moved it up here and it's perfect for toddler busy boxes. So I will do a video on that if you would like. So you can see some of the ideas that I had come up. Moving right along, we have a TV in this room. We don't really use it whenever we watch documentaries and stuff. I typically do it downstairs so that I can be doing dishes or cleaning up. Try and take advantage of that time to get other stuff done. I'd like to move this to a different room so we can have more reading space. But for now, it's here. Then we have this awesome corner. I'm telling you, this was a pile of cushions and the lights just make it so magical. I got these on Amazon for, I wanna say $15.99. I will double check and I will also link those below. But it just adds such a nice touch to our reading corner. We do a lot of reading in homeschool. So that offers a great place for them to cuddle up with a good book. And speaking of books, this is our library. This painting, which I adore, my mom purchased it for us for the girls' bedroom. Um, we've since gone with a different theme, but it worked perfectly in here. She purchased this from Home Goods. So I won't be able to link it, but I have been in there and I see all sorts of colorful paintings. This is where I sit with the kids and we work on stuff together. So I usually take turns with both girls. You'll notice down here, this is our language arts. I really like sitting down with them to that and really making sure they're understanding what's going on. This painting here is also from Home Goods, and it is just a map of the United States. Also very colorful. I love a colorful schoolroom. The last section we have here is the girls' work area. They actually use their desks quite a bit. We do math online with teaching textbooks, and so this is where they do that. It is never ever this clean. I'm not even gonna open the drawers because we are almost halfway through this school year, and I can tell you it's probably really scary in there. But I mentioned earlier that I spent a good bit. I spent about 80 bucks for those drawers. I think they're called Alex drawers from Ikea. And I got them because they were the perfect size and there were so many drawers that you could put each subject in there. So I would have their math in a drawer. I would have their language arts in a drawer. I would have their um, extracurriculars like penmanship and cursive and that in a drawer we have history in a drawer and science in a drawer and so it works out really really well I really like that system we are fortunate enough to have two computers thankfully we have a Nana that loves us and passed down her little Lenovo computer and this HP is an old laptop of mine that I used to use so like I said, I do my best to source whatever I can, either hand-me-downs on Facebook Marketplace or just try and look around the house and house shop. Because if you're a homeschool family, chances are you're a one-income family, so you got to get a little creative sometimes. And these chairs are also from Ikea. I will uh, try and link all the pieces because the drawers are sold separately. The tabletop is sold separately. It's actually two tabletops. There's the seam right there. I believe it's the smallest tabletop they offer. And then you can buy the legs separately. So you don't even need the drawers. You can just do the tabletop and four legs, which I think is a great option if you're on a budget. All right, that's it. That's our school room tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, and you want to, 
feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time I upload a video. I try and stick to homeschool related content, organization content, uh, lifestyle, mom content. Um, so if you are into that, feel free to subscribe. Give this video a like. That helps our channel grow. We would greatly appreciate that. And my last thing is go look yourself in the mirror and say something kind to yourself because you are strong, you are beautiful, and you got this. You got whatever life throws at you. I hope y'all have a blessed day and we'll see you next time. Bye. We also have playroom. We also have playroom. <laughs> Ha 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 